Hello book friends! Today's video is a January TBR of sorts. I am going to focus mostly on book clubs, um, buddy reads, and then that's it really. Uh, I only own two of these. Unfortunately, my goal of trying to start the year off hitting up my own shelves not going to happen. It's going to be a lot of uh, Scribd, Libby, Hoopla, and library borrowing. Um, anywho, so to start off, my book clubs, I have two book clubs. The From Hell book club is one that we have been doing. I want to say it's going on two years, but I could be way off. Um, and we focus on vintage horror books. So this month's book was chosen while well, we're doing two. I think I'm going to start doing like two every so often. But to start off the year, we're doing Pin by uh, Andrew Niederman, and that was chosen by Kelsey at Slime and Slashers. Seems like a lot of people have this one on their TBR, but they just have never gotten to it. So this is the month and the time to do it. Uh, the other one is Audrey Rose by Frank DeFolita. I think that's how you say it. Uh, this looks like it's like a story about an evil little girl. I don't know if she's possessed or she's like a spawn of Satan type situation. Um, oh, no. What happens when a stranger says your daughter was his daughter in another life and comes to take her back? So it could be good. I haven't really heard anybody say anything about this. I did see this. This is actually, actually both of them are in paperbacks from hell. Um, the, I think that one has a different cover in the book, but some of the books we choose are not in paperbacks from hell, but they are considered vintage horror. So we, I include them because a lot of those books are hard to find that are um, shown in that book. Um, the second and brand new um book club that I'm started are indie, eerie indies. So it's focusing on um, horror, indie horror specifically, because there are a lot of horror authors that are indie that are not getting any or not getting as much attention as they should be getting. So for the first book, it's going to be White Abyss by Wendy and I no, I don't say the right last name, so I'm going to put it up. The cover's very, really beautiful. Um, this one, from what I remember of the synopsis, is like about uh, this woman gets obsessed with this other woman, maybe tries to take over her life. It is available on Kindle Unlimited, so go and grab it. Um, I did open up another channel on my Discord for discussion for that book, and there is a discussion for um, Pin and Audrey Rose. If there isn't at this very moment, there will be. So for other people's book clubs, I am going to be reading Dark Hearts with Amy Noel Reads. Her book club is... Um, I don't know, did I say it? The book club's called Dark Hearts, but they're reading these Violent Delights. And I'll put the cover up. Um, I don't really know too much about it. It it almost seems like another obsession type story between two college boys. It sounds good. She chose it. So I said, okay, this is the time to attempt this book. Um... Spinebreakers ran by Brad Proctor. They're doing such, such, oh my god, I can't talk today. Such Sharp Teeth by Rachel Harrison. And I read The Return by Rachel Harrison. I didn't really like it. I know she wrote Cackle also. Uh, this one looks like it is a uh, werewolf type story. I did hear there is a romantic aspect in it, so we'll see if that's something that is going to bother me or not, but depends on how it balances out. Um, so Kelsey is slime and slashers is her channel again. I'm sure you know who she is. Her, her book club is midnight book society. 
The book that they chose this month, I've already read, but she's also reading other books that she put up for uh, voting. So I'm buddy reading Witch by Christopher Pike with her. I attempted this, I think, in October, and I just don't think I was in the mood for it. But I know Katrina Brown really likes it, and I want to say Elizabeth Sage would too. So when she said she was going to read it, I said, okay, let me buddy read it with you because it'll force me to make more of an attempt. Um, Amy McCaw is going to be starting a, I think it's focused on YA horror. So I'm going to read with that group, Dark Charlotte. And the cover has like these dolls on it. So I think it's like evil dolls. I could be wrong. Um, yeah. I have one buddy read, and that is Plastic Monsters by uh, Daniel J. Velope. And that has to do with, like, plastic surgery. This woman's trying to be perfect. What is she going to do? What's she willing to do to get the perfect body? So that is going to be a buddy read with Lauren at Happy Haunts Library. She mentioned reading it during, I think, our Holiday Evil party, and I said, oh, I, I just bought that, so let's buddy read it, and she said, okay. And then the last one, I chose a book that went along with Books and Lala's buzzword of the month, and the, the words are life or death. So I chose, it's called Trauma Cleaner. It's nonfiction. I have the audio for it. It's about a cleaner who cleans up late crime scenes. Um, life and death are both in, both in the title. I'll put the, the cover up. I don't know the whole long title, but Trauma Cleaner is like the main. Um, it, I don't know. It sounds interesting to me that the whole like, that's part of like the death industry in a sense. But I do have other things planned, but I'm not sure that they will be completed within that m the month of January. Um, so I'm not even going to mention them because it could be like, I have vlogs that I want to do. Will they get done? Maybe. Will they be full of DNFs? Could be. Um... But that's all I have planned, planned for January. And I, yeah. Do you, have you read any of these? Are you going to read any of these? Do you want to buddy read any of these? Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I thank everybody that's helped me get to. I'm at 419 now. Let's get to 425 by the new year. It can be done. We can do it. I'm just shocked that I've made it to this many subs and Henry's making a gust appearance. Say hi, buddy. I think Henry is responsible for a lot of new subs, but all right, that's all I got for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye-bye.